there, my name is Tracy from Random Miss of Rudy, and in this video we're going to talk about Scorpio and a relationship with Gemini the Twins. This is a part of my YouTube series, The Scorpio Experience, where I take a look at Scorpio and a relationship with each sign of the zodiac. So if you haven't seen the first video I did where I go a bit more in depth on what it's actually like to date a Scorpio, please go back and check that out. Scorpio with Gemini is just one of those matches that will never make sense to me. I totally get the initial fascination, but that it could go any further after like I'd say a month of courtship surprises me. <laughs> and this is a match that happens more often than not. I get a lot of emails and questions about this relationship and I'm, I'm always surprised that it gets to the point where you wanna know more because you wanna continue. Um, you know, the fact of the matter is these two signs are very, very different. Scorpio is a water sign that operates in a very fixed mindset, okay? So this means that Scorpio is extremely emotional and also somewhat rigid, okay? Um, Gemini, on the other hand, is an air sign that, you know, operates in the realm of ideas, okay? It's always trying to acquire knowledge. And Gemini is also a mutable energy, which means that Gemini is constantly adapting and changing and, and, and morphing into something different. Um, and so what this boils down to is that this is an energy that needs constant mental stimulation and gets bored easily, okay? So if you just look at these things alone, it, it really begs the question of, of how these two signs got together in the first place. And now there is fascination, you know, when, when we are of a certain element, we tend to find different elements attractive. You know, it makes sense that Scorpio would be attracted to Gemini uh, because Gemini essentially is an energy that it's really hard to pin down. And it can be difficult to know Gemini on a deep level, primarily because Gemini operates on a more surface level, okay? So that's going to be the initial draw for Scorpio. And on the flip side, Scorpio is this attractive, um, you know, steamy kind of suave and mysterious energy that Gemini is going to want to know because Gemini has to know. And so that's going to be the initial draw for Gemini. Um, but once you come together, unless there are more complementing elements in your full astrological makeup, if we're just looking at sun sign alone, this match is going to be really difficult to continue, okay? Because Gemini is such a fickle energy that, that is always constantly wanting to know more about a situation, a subject, an activity, a person, um, it can be really hard to get this energy or to get the sign of Gemini to commit to something. And Scorpio is pretty intense with his or her uh, commitment. It's what makes Scorpio feel emotionally secure. And so if Scorpio isn't going to be able to have that with Gemini, um, then again, it, it, it makes this relationship very difficult. As far as sexual compatibility between you, this is where Gemini could benefit. You know, Scorpio is, is, is very suave and, and has this um, raw sexual energy that he or she can kind of mold to fit the style of a significant other. And 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 that's kind of sexy. Um, and I think Gemini will like this. I think Gemini will like Scorpio's approach and will play along. Um, however, Scorpio may not be as satisfied because there is an element of detachment for Gemini when it comes to intimacy in general. And this is because this is an air sign that stays up here. And so, you know, while Gemini may benefit the most, Scorpio, not so much. Um, but if you're willing to at least experiment with one another and role play and have fun that way, that's definitely something that could that could save the sexual relationship here. As far as your disagreements, this is also something that's going to be very hard to navigate. Gemini, if anything, communicates. And Gemini is an energy that knows that you know, if something's wrong, if there's a disagreement, it needs to be discussed. It needs to be debated. Scorpio doesn't do well with discussion and debate. Scorpio is very much my way or the highway, or not even the highway, but no way. <laughs> my way or no way. Um, in Gemini, that's just not going to fly with Gemini, period. And because Scorpio has such a rigid way of thinking um, and, and can be inflexible, especially when compared to Gemini, um, the disagreements and the fact that, you know, a resolution is never easily, um, is never easy to come by. 
is something that's going to prove to be quite tiring for Gemini, okay? So this is a tough match. Um, and like I said, hopefully if we look at your full astrological chart, there are other elements involved that make you compatible, but you're very different. And the only way for this match to work is to understand your differences and, of course, accept them, okay? If you want more information, feel free to visit my website at randomnessofrudy.com. And until next time, good luck.